As promised, meet the second part of the project about Windows Seals. It's been a long time since the first video was released, so let's get started. And I will start by cutting the already prepared and polished granite blanks to size. By the way, meet my new trainee. She's not very bright, but she acts like she's very impressed with what I'm doing, which increases my self-esteem. Oh my, please don't drink from here. I ended up cutting to size, now I need to give the part its final shape. And first of all, I will make all straight cuts with the cutting disc. I try to do all machining cycles with one setup for maximum precision. I will now switch to a spindle and a 6mm end mill to shape the front edge. Since the window seal covers the heating radiator, I need to make some sort of grill in the granite, in order for warm air to pass through from the heater. Here is the grill pattern that I want to cut. The pattern is quite thin, so I first remove with 6mm end mill wherever it will reach, and then change to a 3mm end mill to finish where the 6mm did not fit. And also, I don't cut through the pattern. Since the long and thin parts make it very fragile, I will have to provide support on the back for brittle elements.
I finished processing the front side, now I need to manually remove the corners, flip the part and cut through the grill. And back to CNC. Since now the part will lie on the polished side, I lay rubber pads so as not to scratch the polish. And maybe someone will say, it's granite, how can you scratch it with the steel table? And will be wrong. On a steel table granite really cannot be scratched. But with the small diamonds that could fall out of the tool during the previous processing easily. So it is always very important to wash the table well from the sludge of the previous processing and use pads if possible. see on the back side I cut out just an ordinary rectangular pattern, only position the slots so as to provide uniform support for the pattern on the front side. I finished the work on the scenes. Time to chamfer the front edge. And in this case I will do it with this angle grinder attachment. In principle this device turns the grinder into a router. I use diamond coated chamfer mills. In this case, first one for roughing pass and the second for finishing. Your love is what I need. Like last time, I covered the polished side from scratches with diamond debris, turn on the water supply to the cutting zone and that's it. I move the tool along the surface with multiple light passes to ensure maximum tool cooling. These cutters are quite expensive, so I don't want to burn them on the first detail. When properly used, this tool can cut up to 300 meters of chamfer. In this case, I use a finishing cutter. This is necessary to avoid polishing with coarse abrasive pads. You can see the difference between the first and the second pass. The fact is that rough polishing pads can easily change the shape of the surface. In the end, the chamfer will turn out to be not as rounded as it could be. After the second pass with the diamond mill, I can start polishing straight away with 200 grit and this pad cannot significantly change the curvature of the surface. It will be much easier for me to achieve a perfectly round bevel. The only place where I need to work with 100 grit is this small step that has formed between the chamfers. But everything has its time, and the first I need to polish a narrow stripe on the reverse side that will be visible after installing the window seal.
I talk more about polishing in my previous videos, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Here is the step I was talking about. Since it is curved in only one plane, it is not difficult to remove it with rougher pads without damaging the surface. And now let's move on to the pattern. I use Dremel-like tool and small diamond bits to deburr edges after CNC milling. installation. I previously glued the sides of the heater box. It remains only to glue the supports under the main part of the window seal. I don't try to level the entire surface, as granite is quite strong on its own. Two crossbars will be totally enough. Thank you.